All right, Apple's making a mistake with this next-gen Apple TV, okay? It could literally drop at any time. It might have already dropped by the time you're watching this, but we've gotten some leaks, and they're pretty concrete. They're from pretty reliable sources on what the next-gen Apple TV is going to be. I'll recap them and then tell you why they're stupid. Now, let's begin. So yeah, it would have been fairly easy for me to just tell you what these leaks are, but honestly, I am disappointed and uninterested in this upgrade because it feels like Apple is still missing the point in the purposes of kind of where smart TVs are going, and they're trying to make the Apple TV something it isn't. So first of all, they're updating the CPU. It's an A10X chip right now, which is actually really powerful. They introduced it in the 2017 iPad Pro. It can handle games just fine. It can handle Apple Arcade titles. It can even do the 4K HDR output that the Apple TV requires. You know, it's a little bit old. I get updating it, but they're updating to the A12 chip. Yeah, the A12 chip that's in the iPad Air 3 and the iPad Mini. I guess an upgrade, nonetheless, a little bit better, but honestly, A10X is still pretty good. And on top of that, they're doubling up the storage configurations, which I had to be reminded what the current storage configurations on the Apple TV are, because I almost download nothing to my Apple TV. I really don't use it that much in the first place, but everyone I've talked to who has one says like they stream everything now you know they don't really have a lot of local storage that they take up but the defaults right now are actually 32 and 64 gigs which you know compared to an iphone that seems kind of small but the fact that no one's really complaining about that no one's like oh man i wish i had more storage on my apple tv is what confuses me about the next part of the leak which is that they are making 64 gigs the default storage option so that'll just be included and then you will have an optional 128 gig upgrade which just... <sighs> It just confuses me even further. It's like, are people just downloading tons of movies and shows onto their non-mobile, you know, stationary box? The fact that the Apple TV is not a mobile product and it just kind of docks to your TV all the time is why people don't need to store things locally to it that often. Because if you have an Apple TV, you more than likely have Wi-Fi and you can stream everything through Wi-Fi fine. So adding more local storage to it is confusing. To be fair, there is part of this leak that says they are altering the Apple TV remote. It doesn't necessarily say how or what they're changing with the remote but I'm fine with that because I have some issues with that remote myself I've talked about them in the past but any type of tinkering and improvement on the Apple TV remote front would be very much appreciated making it more durable or maybe more noticeable in the dark anything do anything to it and I would appreciate it at this point but to me hearing this report and hearing it from reliable sources is me going like yeah that that sounds like Apple all right but how is Apple not realizing that this TV box they keep working so hard on can not be a game console and if you're going to try to make it a game console you know because it supports apple arcade now and you can use the tvos app store to download new games and stuff when the market has already kind of spoken on this you know you could have asked me a few years ago if i think the apple tv could be like an xbox or playstation competitor and i would say yeah maybe someday you know maybe if they beefed it up gave it some more specs and kind of embraced third-party developers to bring more games to it then sure in time it could end up being some type of console device that runs tvOS but they missed their chance okay they released the apple tv 4k and i even remember them announcing minecraft was coming on to it and due to lack of activity you know mojang and microsoft stopped supporting minecraft on the apple tv as a whole they just don't give it updates anymore and i don't think you can even buy it because no one was using it and i'm sure if that's the case with minecraft which is one of the most played games of all time it's just even more so with the rest of the games on the apple tv yes a couple people probably play them i'm not saying you don't exist but designing the whole next generation of apple tv over just making it more of a gaming device and still charging 180 dollars for a tv box this is how you kill the apple tv this is how you get people to lose interest in it okay because 4k support was like the last big thing right that was the one big thing we were like why doesn't the apple tv have that yet but now you can get fire tv sticks or roku sticks that sure maybe the remotes aren't as fluid or trackpad friendly or maybe the user interface isn't as buttery smooth which i appreciate but it's it's not like a phone or a watch where you're interacting with the user interface that regularly. For the most part, the TV menus and the operating system we use to play our shows, we only interact with for a couple of seconds, and then we get to our destination and start playing the content we watch. This is why I'm so comfortable using our Roku in the living room all the time, because it gets the job done. Is it as fluid or as beautifully 
designed as tvOS? No, but I don't spend that much time navigating the menus. I just kind of, you know, click the video I want to watch and go from there. So I think Apple needs to realize the value of that experience. The fact that tvOS, between navigating apps and finding the content we want to watch, we spend the least amount of time with tvOS compared to every other OS you work on, whether it's watch OS or Mac OS or iOS or iPad OS, all those things we interact with a lot more heavily than the TV. So you need to put it in its place in regards to value, okay? You can't keep charging 150 bucks for this experience. Apple needs a TV stick, okay? I talked about it in the past, how helpful it would be if they just made some type of more affordable, cheap, dumbed down version of the Apple TV that's just kind of a HDMI flash drive. You plug it into your TV, you give it some power and boom, you're done. There's no box. No, it's not great at gaming, but also it's not that expensive. Maybe price it at like $80 and I would still think you would have plenty of competition that's cheaper than you, but there'd probably be enough people that'd be willing to go the extra mile because, you know, it's Apple and tvOS is well designed and I like the user interface, but I hate not hearing those rumors and reports. I wish they were working on some type of stick that you could just easily set up and no, it's not a gaming device, okay? No, it does not run Apple Arcade games very well. Maybe it runs them just at really, really turned down settings, but at least providing an option out there for people who don't play games with their Apple TV, which I think is most Apple TV users. So if they want to fix the Apple TV, you know, I'm fine with them having an option, you know? If you want to sell a $200 box that has great CPU and GPU power and it can play those Apple Arcade games, then that's great. Keep selling that. I'm not saying get rid of it, but just at least have, you know, the iPhone 10R of Apple TVs, right? Like have the budget option, have the regular non-laminated display iPad for the Apple TV world. And no, I don't consider the Apple TV HD that option because it's still 150 bucks, which is too much compared to what competitors can offer and still provide, you know, 4K support and things like that. Whether it's dumbing down the TV remote, making it cheaper to make, or putting in a really old, old CPU in there so that you can save a ton of money on it, just do what you gotta do to make tvOS more obtainable and more affordable to everyone. And then I will say, you know, the Apple TV has a good shot at making it. But right now, it's just kind of a very narrow niche market to the point that even the Apple sheep doesn't use his Apple TV every day because Roku works just fine. So I'm sure plenty of y'all sheep I've brought to the herd disagree with me. So feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord and tell me why I'm wrong there. And I will tell you why you're wrong when I get around to it. But it might be a while because I'm busy. This is your Apple sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.